Blessings, 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 family, blessings, blessings, blessings once again. Hope everybody is doing well tonight. People may almost, almost start the show late. Yes, and Natalia, big up yourself. Natalia Grant don't message me already. Unstoppable, it is showtime. Nine o'clock, pan it that in people. Boy, me I tell you, me just can't even come on a second late. If I come on a second late, it's like me in a problem. But that's a good thing anyway, because guess what? If only late, me have a problem with that. So I definitely can't be late, right? <laughs> but big up to everybody who is checking in early. Me like when you no check in early, you see? Yes. Because me know, so you remember, so the competition are going, right? Me no see who check in yet so far first, you know. But soon and very soon, we will get to that part. So everybody who is here, big up yourself. If you're there upon Facebook, blessings. If you're here on YouTube, blessings to you as well. And people, remember, quick, fast, and hurry, just share out the show for me there, all right? If you're there upon Facebook, share it to a couple groups. If you're on if you're on YouTube, share it to Facebook, share it to some WhatsApp contacts, share it to some friends and family and say, listen, come check out this. It's Unstoppable Live. All right. More of a big up Sheldon, Unstoppable. Big up Sheldon. If you're there. Oh, see, I see them just now say, if you're there in the building. Sheldon, there. Yeah. Big up yourself, my general. All right. You don't know me and your reason already. All right. See it? Now, more of a welcome all the, newbie, the newbies to the Unstoppable Live show. If tonight is your very first time here, welcome. All right. What I want you to do is jump in the comment section right now and let all the regulars know that you're a newbie and let them welcome you to the family all right because we on the unstoppable show we are all a family all right plain and simple as that all right yeah latte brown in the building we are going latte no we're not going to do too much long talking. We're going to jump into the topic because you know the show is only an hour long, so we're not going to waste no time. So tonight's topic says, my Jamaican fiancé ran off after only one month in the U.S. <laughs> Boy, I said them, 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 them green card scenario, yeah, you see. <laughs> but it says, he left me pregnant. Boy, people, wait them man. This sound like it's going to be. One piece of drama tonight. It sound like it's going to be one piece of drama. But if you're there over here on Instagram, you know, here, let me see a while ago since I just started the Instagram live. The topic tonight says, my Jamaican fiancé ran off after only one month in the U.S. And he left the woman pregnant. All right. So big up Starlight over there on Instagram. All right. Doing Banks. Bless up. Real Stone. Bless up. Richie Stepper. Wagwan. Blessings. So let's get to tonight's topic. But remember, before I introduce tonight's caller to the show, if you are new here, remember, we don't do disrespect on the show. All right. If you have an opinion, you can share it respect. Respectfully, all right, but we no do name calling. You're not going to call me caller, no fool, no idiot, no dummy, no jackass, no dunce, nothing like that. You can share your opinion, but in a respectable manner. If you choose to be disrespectful, just remember, my moderators will have no choice but to block you. And we're not going to ask no questions. We just are going to block you. All right, yes. Yeah, so with that said, let's get the caller to tonight's show. All right, and get into this story because it sounds like it got interesting. Carla, good night. How are you? I'm okay. Oh, Can just, you hear me? I just did I wonder if you're just asleep, you know. <laughs> no way. I'm, I'm, I'm wide awake. Listen, we are here. You're loud, loud, loud like you're sitting right next to me. How is everyone doing tonight? Well, I'm all right. I don't know if you can hear the viewers them still, but I'm all right. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, okay. All right. So, so this is this is how the story is going to go now. What we're going to do is I'm going to give you the platform so that you can share your experience, right? And I'm just going to sit back and relax along with and listen with the viewers. And where I feel the need to ask you a question, I will jump in and ask you a question, all right? Now, 30 minutes in the show. After 30 minutes, may I give you a little water break so that I can do the shout-outs? And then I'll come back to you, all right? Okay, sure. Now, you have a noise in the background. What is that noise? It's a music in the background where I'm at. Okay, so oh, you're not no control over that then. All right, go go right ahead. Yes. Yes. So 
I'm a Jamaican and I migrated here basically from I was like around 15 or so. And I said, you know what, as a Jamaican, you're going to try to help, you know, your loved one that you fall in love with when you go back home, you know, like on a vacation. So basically, um, I didn't expect it to turn out that way because I met him through a close family friend. So I said, all right, you know, Jamaican to Jamaican, you're going to try to even say, you know, help out. Not just basically look at it on a bad perspective to say that is just the green card he wants. Because he was nice. We talked on the phone about so many cards. Back then it was a lot of, we call those cards that you have to buy and scratch off the back. So I have like dozens of those. So we went through all of that, everything. I end up filing for him, for him to come here on a fiance visa to try him out. Because I was like, you know what? Instead of to just go ahead and file straight, because I heard a lot of bad, I have a lot of bad, you know, opinions and stuff like that. So people said, don't bring nobody come here and stuff like that. So I'm going to say, you know what, it seems like him is a trying young man and just trying to make his life better. So I'm not going to basically listen to other people. So I went ahead and I did the fiance visa. I was in college going for my degree and everything. And I did it like the March. And he got approved like the next month, fast, fast, fast. And then by, say, June medical, he gets to do um, like a letter to do his medical in Jamaica. And then by July, he, that was the interview. So I fly down and everything, you know, went to the interview, during the interview and everything. Is somebody asking me a question? No, go ahead. We can hear you. Go ahead. Let's continue. Yeah. Okay. So what happened is that during the interview, he basically was upset in a sense that they asked him for extra documents because he, based on the birth paper, he had two different um, last names. So he has to do, he has to do two, he has to do two non impediment That's what they call it in Jamaica to verify that he never been married before. So right then, then when he did the non impediment he did the non impediment It end up that. They, they, he didn't have the non impediment with him because obviously they never told him that he needed that because they never get to inspect his birth paper. So after that, they inspect the birth paper, they interviewed, they gave him a list of documents that he needs to return. So we went home, everything, I guess he was kind of down. And all of a sudden, his baby mother called him because he have a child from a different woman. The baby mother called him and she, she basically got him upset. I don't know what was going through him head. I don't know, you know, Jamaica hard and so forth. All of a sudden, he was pissed off. His face wasn't looking as happy as before. And I simply asked him, what's the question? You know, what's the problem? And he said that um, she called him and asked him about back to school and stuff and stuff like that. So, but it's just his old response and taking all these issues on me. All of a sudden, I said, do not talk to me like that. You know, I'm not your baby mother. By the time I'm supposed to say that, boop, we get a slap in my face. So at that point, I should have just weird, left weird, everything weird, and weird, just come weird. back home. Hold on, hold on, wait. <laughs> Wait, you say you go down to get married to this man and you and him have a conversation and him already start beat you? Yes, he just boop slapped me right in my face. Just for me saying, by the time I even supposed to finish the word saying, baby mother, like I said, do not talk to me that way. I'm just asking you what's the issue. No, you just came off the phone. no, 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 no. My question is this. So the minute him licking at your face, you know, decide to... All right, you know what? All bets off. No more marriage now. Go on. Me, I pick up back my bungalows and we go back to foreign. Well, we never. Exactly, but we're not even married yet. That is me the know, old for No, no, me it's know. my fiance. Me know, but that's what I'm saying. So after that, you know, just decide to say, you what? All bets off. Me, I pick up back my bungalows and go back to foreign and left this boy. Yeah, yeah. So you never do that? Trust me. Even the taxi man that was bringing me around, a close friend of ours that went to school with my cousin was. The same thing and bring me to the police station to make reports and everything. But me look on it and say, you know what, you me damage me two lamp, bedside lamp and bust up your head. Me say, you know what, we even. So him come and him apologize for everything, him bring hot water, everything and you know, because my mother my face was kind of swelling and everything. So me say, you All know right, what, we try to forgive him because we don't, we, we don't mess him up too. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on a minute. Blessings, it's SNR Farmer. Welcome to the stream. I'm guessing you're new, but. I'm not going to take this as a disrespect, but you can't call the caller names, right? You're probably just as a caller, you're mad, but, you know, things like that, though, saying in the chat, all right? Blessings. All right, continue, caller. So, I say, all right, then. 
make me, you know, the taxi guy that was bringing me around is a close friend. He said, no, mommy, I've been at that uh, um, police station. This is crazy. Get your stuff because we was at the sister house. She was closer to the embassy, right? So we were staying at her house. But he's from Mobe. So he always act like he like the way he talks. I'm a bad man. I don't want to want bad talk. Like he's like, he just always want to fight. Mm. You know what I mean? I'm going to take talk from the body and ray, 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 ray. He might have that ignorance with me. So I was like, you need, you need to calm down. I simply ask you one question. Nobody said nothing about your mother, okay? So before I even finish the sentence, say, do not talk to me like that. I'm not your baby mother. But I'm supposed to finish the word, say, mother. All I know that it was a thumb straight in my face. So I turn around and I say, no, sir. So I don't know where the energy come from. I mean, we say the sister, they have two sides, bedside lamp. I clap the two bedside lamps in my face. Oh, yummy. Yeah, so I'm going to fight them if I come come brought the fight. Oh, yummy. Yeah, yeah, so anyway, <laughs> What? No, up. man, we can't man. We can't just, no, no, we can't just rule past that song. We can't just rule past that part, there, man. Wait, there, man. Viewers, when you hear what she say, Instagram, when you hear what she say, <laughs> she say, when my boy goes to boom and punch her in her mouth, she say, eh, we, what? And she say, she draw for two bedside lamp and mash them up in her head. Oh, you mean? That's what we are talking <laughs> But I, but I didn't even know where the strength came from. I was just like, this man, oh, so like, me, me, let me say, seriously, come me, my, well, what not is right there. Yeah. You know, let him want not to have the glass tonight. Yeah. So, if I really look, can't look good, and so I really look at me face. So, me don't know where the strength come from. I mean, what's the mistake between one of them? Blop, 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 blop. I mean, what's the mistake? I know Sam Jeff and my sister, I can get me a fine. Anyway, so, end up, so I want to go on the way, I'm going my furniture. I'm say, your brother started, and I say, I'm going to go on. I'm take my furniture, I'm going to say, all right. In bed, I talk off him out, see him, I'm going to say, I'm going to go for a foreign and true, but migrate to the early, I think to me, I don't think I'm going to try that. What's it, Nathan? And Ray, 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 I see you, you feel like me, a bad man, and I was just talking one bag of foolish. We should have just left it there, sir. So, in a way, I go my up my separate way, in go feel separate way, I drive to my here, when I drive, I get my stuff them and I left. But come back a foreign now, and in my car, car, on my phone, everything. So, my friend that know, his friend was like, why don't you just finish it for him, you know what I mean? Just go ahead and finish it for him because you know you spend a lot of money, you put a lot of time into it, plus plane fear, all these calling cards and stuff like that. You know, mouth and teeth are gonna meet. So I said, all right, no problem. So I say, think about it, hard, hard, hard. I go three weeks, me that's fighting. So the paper for them game now, saying for bringing all of them paper, they know. And me, I may end up going to pay for the non knowing that me game two papa, you know. I'm my game two papa, and me. So <laughs> so you know that once <laughs> hey tonight call her saucy you know to... <laughs> she wants a saucy tonight but anyway continue <laughs> so I must say two different father I'm up on the bird paper you know so you know said mother came to two different father so it look like when you find out say the, the first father where, where he grow with her whatever and I look like I even get in get to find out in real father and then got the bird paper place and go change the name so I'm not know all of this one yeah so when we got the interview now and he get the list of stuff them we need, them tell him same after bringing two separate non impediment. Mama said back then, you know, non impediment are 15,000 or 30,000 for one, you know. So we have to end up going to pay for two non impediment for sure, say never married a Jamaica before, yeah? Like a one thing for the paper. All right. Me pay a fee after all of that, you know. Okay, so I got a fire and everything and everything. Sister beg, mother beg, I said no. You know, I'm just ignorant, probably should call him on a straight him up. I said that I give him the right to come punch me. Out of order. Mm. So, you know, so me bring him up to and I mash up Shelly Lamp and everything. I just say, I make it squash out. So, me now decided, sorry, I'm going to send some money to go to waste. Send what I need. I'm going in get the, get the get the paper. I'm get the visa. My mind, I'm a friend of mine who work outside with collect umbrella and collect phone and him something, there, right? Mm. The man called me and said to me, you know, so your friend get you? So, I said, my friend, this friend, I'm not friend. You mean my, my fiance? Me, he said, yes, you remember me. And Mr. Kanye, he used to bring me up and down as well. My taxi friend is not available. He drive taxi as well. But early in the morning, the embassy normally collect like umbrella and in, in collect, um, what do you call it now? Like the phone them back then, right? None mm. of them still do that now. Mm. So he turned around and he said to me, say, yes, man, your friend, get through, man. And get the pay. Like, I, I get a certain paper them gear where you know when people get through. So I said, oh, you know, send get through. I see him with the yellow paper, man, or whatever paper, color paper, it is to show so you get through. And so my man come out and smile. So I said, I'm not getting a call from him. You sure, sir, him, you see? Umbrella, so anyway, umbrella collector can and chat little bit too much, though. Or he get a call, you tell you the man business. Or he, or he, or he talk a little bit too much. <laughs> oh, <which> man? <laughs> no, but for real, listen to me. Me for really call him and I ask him because at the same time, me, me, I said to myself, about wait. He must have pick up his phone from the man. 
And you know what I mean? So mm. I said, I want to know if he gets in phone. I'm still inside because it's about after two or three, I got two, three o'clock. Mm. You know, so normally embassy, the morning, a morning apartment, normally I come out them time there. You understand? Yeah. Even earlier. So I said, no, man, let me see if something went wrong. So the man said to me, said, no, man, your friend collect him phone and sitting from a long time, man, and a smile ago. Mm. He get through, man. So I said, no, man, that doesn't sound too right. So me call him, and I said, hi, baby, what happened? You want me to get through, man, so I said, you not call me. Nothing, nothing, nothing. When well, I asked me, you're the first person as a, as a fiancé, you don't want somebody to call you, if you say, you know, baby, me get through, and I can't wait to see you, and all of them something there. Right, see? That was a sign. That's a second sign right there, so. Wait, wait, all right. So, 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 so yeah. nothing to eat. No, no, hold on. The, fir the first red flag was the punch in your face. Sorry if you say it that way, there. Yes. But... <laughs> the first red flag was the punch in your face. Otada. The second red flag was which one again? It, yes, you know, call me. So I said, that's like, a, you know, that's a that's turn a red off. Flag. So I said, right. oh, you know, call so me. So you're getting visa yeah, and all of that, and you know, call you. So that's the second turn off right there. So, all right, go on. Yeah, come here. So, oh, you know, call me. Come here, say, you're supposed to call. I said, be as me get it. Yes, me can't wait to come up. Buy me a ticket. No, you know me, I was, I was just waiting. Mm -hmm. I mean, say, we send everything we need. Mm -hmm. So, me have the man that call me everything. You say it. He said he call everybody else and something like that. Something like that. It's been so long ago. This was from some talk. So it's all right then. I don't think nothing to me. So probably I'm just excited and he call. He call him friend him and them look or something. You know what I mean? He not call me. So mm. it's all right. You call mommy, you call your sister. He say yes, he, he call him friend him and everybody else. So I'm saying you must expect to never call you, man. So I'm just probably just a wait for me to talk to me last because, you know, you know, me and him are going to put my phone long. So I never think too much into it. So that was done and gone. He end up reach up, he re, um, he end up um, supposed to come up now. That's after that now, you know, that's a little second turn off. Me buy a ticket now. Can't say I want to leave, you can't say I want to kill nobody come from man, I violate him and rare, rare. I mean, I even won't catch up. But anyway, I'm up and buy a ticket. Remember saying that them time to pick up the book, like a student get approved, that's like your example. Mm. And then they say, pick up the book in a tree day, a man to go be at the airport, because I guess them call it ear something or ear train or whatever. I don't know how people go pick up the visa. You understand? But I want place, ear train or whatever, a place name, they're writing at the airport. So same can just pick up the book with the visa and then just go the plane, right? So I buy a ticket as well, I'm asking for buy a ticket. I'm not even who follow them. I say some people are dry them out and ray, ray, ray. I'm not want to kill nobody. I want to be foolish. I go like him a bad man. Anyway, so I up and buy the ticket. Me thinks so that the man, I go board the plane. How about when me buy the ticket now and me left work enough and all the way to Saratoga, New York, you know. Well, ready to pick him up now and me I look for my fiance now, pick up at the airport. Me I call the phone, me I call the phone, me I say, probably not on the, the flight already. Because you know, some people that call him at the airport and him something, they may have to get my phone call. So I say, but wait, probably for the plane, I phone there or something. So, we well, think put back the phone in your no, mouth. Put, like... Your phone, your audio go down a while ago. Put back the phone, hold the phone good and say that again. We don't want to miss none of that so none of that at ya. We want to hear everything clear. No, it's it so I call here Jamaican, you know you can check from the flight. The flight number, if you see, you know what I mean? If, if the flight left off and everything, flight left and everything and land. I don't hear no phone call, I don't hear nothing, I don't hear what I'm saying about where they Everybody come out and gone. Mm -hmm. So me there, I'm saying to myself, no man, this doesn't sound too right. So when I when know, I say, um, is, is everybody finished from such a, like, that's a flight number, whatever the flight number was. And no man say, yes, everybody gone from, 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 from 9.30. I'll give you an example. So everything done, they're gone already. That's how the man. So I say, no man, this doesn't sound too right. Go home, I call, 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 so finally, I'm about close I don't know how I go on with your phone, but your phone I try to mess up with story, man, and the story is sweet. It keep on your heart. No, what I say right is, after 11, yes. you hear me now? Yes, right, that's us. After 11, Leo, him finally if you are mask it about you don't even scratch it. After 11, him finally answer. You hear me? Yes. After, after 11, him finally answer. So me say, all right then, so me answer. Me say, after 11, you finally answer. And me say, what am to you? So we are there, come think to our friend pick him up or something. So we are there, I'm there at the airport and wait for everything. Oh, you know, say, I am I am I am my daughter, baby mother, birthday, and she never bring the baby for on time. So to me, no, I'm going to leave. I never bother to go, go there. So, so tomorrow then, put it for tomorrow. So we are all, all, all up. I say, you think so this is a bust? What do you mean by put it for tomorrow? I was so upset. 
come on, so you're free, you have to go pay money to change the ticket now, you understand? So it's not like, say, you can call them or a bus fee, or you just lose a bus fee, or you're free, you're for money, you have $500 for ticket. No apology, no nothing. I turn around now, me, that, is a ter- that is a third turn off. If I turn around, yeah, lose my money. You should have see comment section. You should have see comment section. Everybody has a red flag, red flag, red flag. Like, it, it's all like, it's all like, we have to go call Wally British for you, you know. Red flag. No, this is serious. No, so, me now, hear me now, Lord Jesus, and where me go get money from No, For go find extra money for go pay for the ticket. Position your phone good again. Position your phone good again. Something go on with your phone, man. I don't know. Yes, so Mr. Tweem said, what do you mean by, I don't understand what you mean by you never bought the flight. I asked him about baby mother's birthday. What does that have to do with me? He must say the baby mother was supposed to bring the, it's not about the baby mother's birthday at all. So I said, why did you tell me that? He said, it's just that she never bring the baby, come on. He didn't want to see the baby before him leave. and one bag of excuse. That was the excuse. So I have to suck it up and just, so you know what, I'm not going to make him get me upset. So I call you Jamaica at the same time I ask them how much you change the ticket because something came up emergency and then I get to book the flight. So he turned around and he said, I'm apologize. I said, honey, I'm sorry about that or whatever to be fair. Well, I think I get a piece of proper cuss out. Get a proper cuss out. Where you are, you know, I'm just going to pick me where you set me for. Eh? Or you set me for me. I see my pick me for me. I said, that's not the point. The point is that communication is the key. You never reach a foreign yet, and you never communicate with me. I can't read my name, I can't hear what I wait for and everything, and things that come today. Mama said, I have to go back to work tomorrow, you know, because it was my day off. That Wednesday, you're supposed to come, was my day off. Right, you know. So I think that the man is going to apologize and say, boy, baby, i sorry, baby, I'm sorry, and, you know, and so forth. I said, my daddy, and I said to him, say, all right, then, I'm not going to go back and forth with you. It done gone bad already. So you're ready for tomorrow? He said, yes. So me call you Jamaica now, and me ask them how much you change the ticket, I explain to them. Them say if it's not a debt or, or anything for sure, any emergency, like in the hospital or whatever, but I've got to pay the regular change fee. You understand? Mm-hmm. So me say, how much is it? I think back then it was a hundred and something dollars. I don't remember how much it was, but it was expensive. So cut story short now. Yeah, this is one you go hold your belly. <laughs> me and my local mechanic friend of me, no one will like me long time. <laughs> So if he <laughs> said, he might go buy more and ticket because he liked me a long time and said, I bring my God to Jamaica. So I'm going to fix, fix my car now. And he said, you not come to Jamaica with me again. I'm going to say, yeah, man, I come to Jamaica with you. So he said, 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 he so, 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 no, no, and tell the man. All right, before you continue, me, me before, before you continue, yeah, yeah, me? Yeah. Somebody, I say, you probably, one, 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 one of the listeners, I say, you probably have the phone pan speaker and a walkway. You have the phone pan speaker? No, I mean, I have it pan speaker. Your phone, your audio keep going speaker. in and yeah, out. Yeah. We don't want to miss none of the juice in a man. No, me, man, me, no, man. Well, me, 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 all right. Probably my earpiece, but I, me not have a I, I, earpiece. Earpiece is a now? problem. Then take out the earpiece so we can hear you clear now, man. All right, then. You can hear me better? Perfect. All right. No. T- I, I, I will already okay. tell you start back, start back from the beginning, but me not have it. <laughs> <laughs> so, hear the joke now. So, I said to myself, so, all right. Let me just go ahead and, um, let me just go ahead and decide it, for, you know, for, Make me friend, you know, me not, me can't tell him no, say, I, 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 you know, my fiance come up and I want to use, you know, since he promised me one ticket, me I go use it to change the ticket. So I have to play a quick one. So he give me the phone off the top for the Jamaica. Say, yeah, man, everything good, good, good. So the Jamaica lady said, I want to speak to the card holder. So he give me the phone and say, anything she want, give to, you know, give to her, she make sure book your ticket and she tell her the date. So me turn around and go, and go get her. Even though they want to we talk to somebody else on the phone and me, they talk to the Jamaica people. Him. So me have to turn around now and I whisper. And I say, Cavern, let me say, let me say the name. And me tell, tell him the way the name. Mm. And the woman say, okay, so I um, missed the flight yesterday. Can you go ahead? Can you go ahead and give me the confirmation number? And she pull him up anyway. So cut short shot. So she pull him up and she turn around and she said to me, say, well, it's going to be hundred and something dollars. Remember, you know? The woman go ahead and change it now. Here my local man friend come now. He book it book. I say, yeah, man, he book for next month, man. Whoa, we are going to Jamaica. 
Better couldn't tell me so after all when we got through, you know, in finally come up the next day that done. After a couple months now, after me leave from my test, which I did the upstate at work, come be pregnant, me find out to me pregnant when we come back down September 4th. Can come up in August, right? Mm. So one month after we fly, we come down, we find out to me pregnant. Turn around. Me thinks so now, this a man here with a change around everything, stop with the baby mother foolishness. So when me look, my phone bill reached 3000 a dollar. That a number four red flag right there, so. Sit down for phone and call everybody at Jamaica. Me, mother, sister, brother, everybody. Don't be baby mother. And I said, this is not a regular phone. You have to buy calling card and call Jamaica. Me even block the number from international and find a way for unblock it and dial some 011 number, whatever number I'm saying, friends of the dial. And it's still attached to the phone number. Mm. It's when me get the sprint, the sprint bill at three thousand dollars in my youth. Hey. So that that right the son never trust me, me tell you say it just like it was just too much for me. Me end up now the work done after six weeks, which I did up at Saratoga, New York, my flight. You must know, drive down now, come all the way down, which I live now, right? So after the, the assignment done now for the six week and whatever, me turn around and I come down now. When me look, me think that was enough. Okay, like me think said this a man that said why me, you know when me do what's wrong and I try to heal the wounds them that he already do from Jamaica, everything I add up. Rotted. When me look, me can't believe said the man turn around and search up the house. Me mean like, like search up the house and me come home one day and me looking at it. We go get the marriage license. Let me start from this. So get the marriage license. Okay, you know, within 90 days I have to get married. When me come home, me looking at a drawer, not a marriage license, looking at a closet, not a, not a suitcase. The man gone. So I really wonder, when gone and friend, you don't know nobody here. Yeah? When me look, me say to myself, no man, this don't make no sense. So I call the sister, I call the mother. And I say, him tell us, I go somewhere, I something I don't know about. Come here, call the phone, and I can't get him. So cut through it short. When me look now, I say to myself, say, couple weeks pass, two weeks pass, three weeks pass, nothing. And you know what the embarrassing part is? Before him left, you see the same young man when me tell us that the mechanic friend of me know for how much he needs and say my buy more ticket. Yeah. All about the man bought me up in the Jamaican restaurant. And him see me big belly in front of me. This is before him, him he, he, that's after him come back. I'll give the party because I'm not going to forget it. All about the man look at me and say to me, say, Oh, I could see. Mm-hmm. So that was the ticket. And he might, he might, he might tell me, the, tell me my fiance name with the, from the, from the statement, you know, because he knows the statement, come and yard and he showed the name and who for flight book. My feet are so shame. Mm. My feet are, mm, yeah, yes, you know, you know, you can know that embarrassment feeling. Mm. So I turn around and I said to myself, no man, no, no, not like that man. I want family, family friend. I don't know, so my fiance will do that first. My feet just play it off. So here, him now we're reaching at the camp. So I want to tell you, I want to your man that door. I said, no, what do you mean when I'm a man that? No, I'm a friend for a long time. But anyway, we laugh it off and I tell him what happened. Can you believe he said, the, 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 not even a month, because the August didn't come up, right? This is the September, when we come down back after Labor Day. It was like a couple of days after. We find out, like around the 7th. In birthday, it was the 7th or something like that. We find out, say, I'm pregnant, so I tell him. So when I tell him now, uh, something to the effect. So I'm saying, no, I'm going to believe in abortion, so I'm going to carry the baby. Can you believe that the man turn round? All right, I'm back, I'm back, I'm back. Let me reach out back to the caller real quick. Reach out back to the caller real quick. We're back up and running. Let me reach out back to the caller real quick. Hello? All right, we're back again. We lose connection a while ago, but make sure that everybody are here. Yes, I'm going to call you back. Yeah, okay, on, sorry about on. that. Hold on, make, we make sure everybody's still are here. We. Hold on real quick. Let's make sure the viewers are still are here. We. All right, everybody, if you're not here, we make we know. Make we know if you're still here. We. Make we know if you're still here. We. Ivan, Bessins, Jai. All right, Jai said them are here. All right. All right, well, Andy. Let's confirm it. Everybody, you're not here. We. Facebook, you're not here. We. Everybody, are here. We. All right, them said them are here. We. Let's go. All right, pick up. Pick oh. up back from where we get cut off, cause I right as you are getting at the nitty gritty of things, you know. Jadu a star. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> see it, <laughs> see it. Walla, 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 walla. Before you continue, as a matter of fact, walla. Before you continue, 
Let me just do the shout out one time because we reach 30 minutes anyways. All right. First of all, I want to say thank you to Emma Campbell for the Super Chat contribution. All right. Paulette Harris, thank you so much for your Super Chat contribution. Cynthia Lewis, thank you for your Super Chat. Joy Blackwood, thank you so much. Janice Scott, thank you for signing up to becoming an Unstoppable Official. And Oral Blake, thank you for the Super Chat contribution, my general. Much appreciated. All right. All right. All right. Let's get back to it, Carla. Okay, so when I come home now, I said to myself, say, but wait, the house quiet. I don't hear nobody in the house, so I call him name. I say, all right, I go into the bedroom, I look in the closet. No, first I see the jar out. I say, but wait there. He never tell me say, that come home before me, I wave him the day or whatever to be fixed. So I go into the closet, I see the suitcase gone. Then I see him like when I see a place look shuffle up, like you can tell, say, something, you know, like when somebody look for something. So I said, no man, suitcase gone. So when I use the suitcase gone. So I said, all right, I look at look, I don't see no clothes up like when I put on or something, I go in the drawer, like the bedside drawer. One mind said, I go look and see. So I said, no man. I don't think say, in the last left, I don't tell me say, I go somewhere where they might leave it. Because I said, I know a family member here. The only family member I know, I'm brother, we are Ohio, you get me? Mm. So I said, all right then. One mind said, looking at the drawer. Yeah, you hear me? Looking at where well, the spirit just said, Mr. Looking at the draw for see the marriage license, baby. You know the registration where you go to get married. Can we say that 90 days you have to get married? Remember, you know? So you have to be married by the, the, the November, because treat 90 days from wherever date you come, yeah? So me going to the draw now. Better come to tell me what I'm to the marriage license. Now go on. So me, so me, so me, so about wait there. And when Fee say, in going with the marriage license, things are this a green card. So me, so me start laughing to myself. I said, no, 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 this could not be it. I a month passed, I called the mother, I called the sister, and I said, no man, probably not gone too far, probably not gone to check him friend. Him. You understand me? So I'm sorry, I don't think I'm to it. Turn around now, I get a call a month passed, no, no, that's the whole September done now, you know. You hear me? Mm. September done. October done. You see, the date when they gave me nine book, I think it was like November, whatever, 14 or whatever, to be fake. At that time, I start get a call, like about in the same week there. So it look like him friend him when he run off with the final game, tell him, say, my youth, you know, see, I'm a green key at this. So I say, that's why him start call me. Because why would you be calling me after two months? And you know, so me pregnant, I say, I'm done finally, I'm pregnant from, you know, the f- first week of September, they send that one month into the country, ain't it? So I think, say, the man I got call and I apologize, and you know what I mean, I'm sorry and all them something there, and Ray, 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 me I read between the lines and I say, but what make him just basically concerned um, both, both, the, both the register, if we can get a new one. Uh, so, so, me I read in Twitter and say, wait, that you call me, for, tell me, I ask if we can get a new one, and you call me, I apologize. I said, boy, I'm sorry for what I do, whatever to the effect. One piece of argument from the phone. We expect me supposed to eat chop in the house, and I'm not supposed to go look for it. I said, what which part are you there? Him saying that Florida. So, I remember, I never got Florida before. You hear me? And you just come and find you reach Florida. Who you know of Florida? That never stopped this song. The man end up in Florida. And instead, I'm calling, apologize, and say, I'm sorry for what I do. No apology, no nothing. We start arguing back and forth, and I said to him, say, you know what, this is done. That's wherever you're there, with your friend, then where you run after, you know, I'm not respectful, even to me, say, you was even going anywhere. Oh, me must read my name, call me two months after. Come on, say, this is from September, I'm left, you know. I know him, I call me in November, where you know, say, a time, when well, then give him 90 days, and I'm booked for married by that time, then. Turn around now, me say, all right, we talk to him, sister and him mother, big female, say, boy, you know, you're done pregnant already, if he be able to see it, just try to forgive him or whatever. Me, like, I'm the immediate now, decide to forgive him. So, me decide to say, all right, then, so, when are you looking to come? When are you coming? Because you know, so you have to marry before the 14. Him turn around and him say, oh, well, me, me um, me have a book a ticket for come by the 14. So, me say, on the exact day? Can you believe him flying the exact day? Me, now, I forgot a quote house to marry him on the same day. In a wedding dress, in a car, in a the car, as the, as the, what you call it now, as the bride, I drive the car, got the courthouse, and plus, I catch the courthouse before four o'clock, and in book a flight for two o'clock, in at the airport. You know, I say, I forgot you, all of the custom and all of them sitting there, you know. Can you imagine? You understand me? Hey, he never stopped right there, so. He turn around now, he turn around and him end up um, reach. We end up now. Hold when him reach now, hold him. On, hold on, the caller once again. I'm going to remind okay. the newbies on Facebook. YouTube know the rules. Facebook viewers, I'm asking you kindly. Please refrain, refrain from name calling. If you do so, you will be blocked. 
This is the only warning I'm giving anybody over there on Facebook. All right? This is the only warning. The next person may see with a negative comment, you will be blocked. All right? Plain and simple. Continue, Carla. Well, listen to me. Then, this, to me, to, to be honest with you, I mean, never see the comment name, but I don't really care because no, it can happen not, to anybody. No, it's not about you, you know. I'm ju it's just the way I operate my show. It has nothing to do with what you're saying. All right, go right. Yeah, ahead. but but them need but but between me and you, we can we can say to everybody who's listening, it can happen to anyone because right then then in life you're gonna have challenges and you learn from your challenges. Trust me when I tell you. And for cut story short, that same young man that I'm talking about up to today, this is from 2006 till now, and he's still having that st started out into the country. What does that tell you? And he married twice. So them can feel for leave them 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 bad no, comment or them can't do it for your show, but at the same time them affect themselves. Cause them they, instead of trying to listen and learn from what I'm saying, what are you trying to send negative comments? You understand what I say? Don't, Even if you have ne negative comments, they can keep it to themselves. Don't rush to, to the end yet. Just continue where, where you left. <laughs> don't rush. Don't don't spill the beans yet. Go and talk. Okay. Okay. So anyway, it end up that we forgive him and stuff like that. Be a Biban, a beautiful princess. End up that, in, end up that, me think him that change. So me turn around and me say to myself, say, me say to myself, say, all right then, let me forgive him, you know, make bygones be bygones and, you know, move on. Be a Biban, know everything. Can you believe, say, it end up that him start to smoke, that like, same Jamaican mentality, want to fight, Cut up my coach. I cut weed from my coach in you know, America. Oh, we really, really, how much your furniture? Three thousand dollars, five thousand dollars. Good, good up, good up furniture. And the man I cut weed. If you cut weed in a good side, go cut up your weed and everything. My coach, my coach, the side of my coach. Cut up. You can't tell us weed in the cut up on the side of the coach. If it, you're tired to talk, I tell him say don't smoke in the house. It's like you talk to yourself. Me just I tell you literally. When Jamaican alone, can you know other people smoke. But me just I try to tell you when me go through. So I think the man that she and John said, boy, I know, so I put her through a lot and whatever. She's still turning and married me. Let me see if I can make things, you know, turn around, you know, everything good. Right, I couldn't deal with it no more. It turned around that we couldn't get along, right? This, uh, mm -mm. this is, this is calling for a divorce now. This is just ridiculous. I try, I did try. When me look now and turn, when I turn around, if, if I know cuss him or cuss and them sit there, this is how I cut the key and I say, no, this is it. I'm supposed to pick up the baby. This was what it pissed me off. I was supposed to pick up the baby. I'm going to work. I'm supposed to pick up the baby. I'm leave work from 7 o'clock. I call, I call the phone, I call the phone, I call the phone. No answer. So I said, probably something happened to him. So I call him sister and I say, you hear from him? She said, no. I call the mother, you hear from him? No. So I said, no man, something all right. So one man said, me call the baby sitter. Did my husband come and pick up the baby? She said, no, I'm waiting for you. You know that each minute is $10. You know, I'll just give you an example. So the woman so me said, no, man, him leave work from 7 o'clock. Something must be wrong. Anyway, I'm on my way. Instead of the man come home and apologize, my man come home drunk and stink and smoke. And this about after 2 o'clock in the morning. Instead of him say, boy, I'm sorry, babes, I'm go close by my friend. Them, and I go, you know, basically do a or whatever. Me not, you know. Tell me something pleasant and apologize. One piece of argument, I would tell my mouth ask and say, we'll never pick up the wave for time. Is it me and I, or Ray, 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 or whatever? Man, man, man can't leave work and, and go get a breathing space. You know, typical nasty, disgusting behavior. So I said, all right, then no problem. I don't pay him the mind. It end up that the conversation um, gets into a big argument and, you know, say, uh, no, when we go back, in the bam down the door, Aggressively, that's what that's what happened. And you know, when they live in an apartment complex and you have bombed on the door aggressively, you know, so people go call police things are domestic violence. You understand what I'm trying to say? Rotted. Instead of the man, when they let him, you know, him to apologize, can sleep, me that sleep, and you know, I have to wake up the baby, I have to be considerate. So, we we'll let him in, and so I say, oh, So, why oh, you not call me? And I look how long the, the baby sitter call and me, I call you and answer the phone. But I say, I'm supposed to carry on and I go along the most way, you know, and I him, you know. But from my bomb the door, everything and the one bag of knives outside, that alone right there, so for sure, say, when the people out the head, you can tell so everybody wake up and wonder what go on. Anyway, the, instead of the man stop there, so the man go on the most way, just so you ask him one little question, I went there, but tell us so the weed really gets to some man's head. My man never stop right there, so my love, the man carry on and carry on till when, I don't know where it escalate, but what I would have to go. 
so end up that the people in from the floor are waving in their building was the car police car basically from the bombing from the bombing because when they come when they come they said they hear hard bombing on the door i was disrupting the neighbors so mr apologize about that i was sleeping and it looked like you know my husband forgetting key and i basically you know he's in now he say you sure everything is good me say yeah man everything is good you know said so before the police even drive off and can hear in vice and we're going down sick i say a fourth floor you depending on say you know say so basically you know voice travel you mm-hmm. understand what i'm saying mm-hmm. instead of the man that, that try to say boy when do wrong and whatever whatever one piece of argument them have to end up telling him to have to leave when we have to leave i'm surely not me i'm gonna leave with the baby because my house anyway so end up leave or whatever my man beck son him end up gonna live with him friend because that thing did one long time for going out in him friend them you know see, so you know like when somebody are fine one escape for some basically yeah so that was the escape Mm-hmm. So instead, I'm apologize and try to, you know, make right, you know, make everything be right. And then something like that, rotted. My man don't change. No change whatsoever. So he turn around now, instead of the money that say, all right, then. One day, oh, yes, he knows he not have the papers and everything now. He end up travel upon the, travel upon the great own bus. Go and look for him. Instead, I'm going to look for him, one pick me, you know. Travel upon the great own bus, go and look for brother. End up get arrested. Get a who for going to go pick him up. Okay, you know, so once them, you know, the papers and then pick you up on the, on the, on the, um, what you call it, no, on the road, they're going to end up where they put it now, um, do that guy chrome. You know, so I say, go when it, when, when it, when you have, when you have nothing. You understand me? So tell me, who that do that stupid and your brother know that already? And you really make your brother make you, go listen to your brother to make you trouble. So end up that, me decide off a turn around, come and see that him not change. We have to turn around and end up divorcing because we me never want to get myself in a trouble pretend it, tell you the truth, but me I tell you say it's a learning stage. And it's really bad for no say you have a child American child here and at the same time him to learn from a mistake and him go, I heard that he went ahead and get married again to somebody different and she have to end up divorcing because of peer fighting that fear out so she couldn't take it no more. She was a Christian. So you see me I say a lot of people have to learn from that. Be mm-hmm. careful, make sure you get to know the person. It up, up something there, inside out, because at the end of the day, at the end of the, at the end of the day, you have to make sure so you know the people them up inside out. Right. Trust me, what I'm telling you. Yeah, because at the end of the day, it don't make no sense. Right. It don't make any sense. It's true. It's true. Yeah, you so learn the experience. Learned. You went through it and you learn from it and. You know, it, it, it's a lot though. And the, may I go tell you this? The whole way we are listening, me and the whole of the viewers, both Facebook and, and YouTube, love the way you deliver the story here tonight. You understand? You're vibrant, you're entertaining, and everything where you say are something where a lot of the ladies can listen to and learn from. Big up Suzet over there on Facebook. So it's mainly females listening. So I hope you know I listen to this color experience and run when you know, see a lot of these red flags. All right. So, Carla, what I'm going to do right now, I'm going to open the phone line and hear where the people them have to say about your story in the night. Are you ready for it? I want to call her now. I wish she gone again. Oh, what going on again now? Yes, yeah, so you're not hearing me? All right. But they're right here. I'm hearing you. I hear, right. you. Yeah. I hear you now. Hearing you clearly now. All right. Now, I'm going to say this before I open the phone lines. So a lot of persons on Facebook were saying when I said um, share your opinion in a respectful manner. And a lot of persons were saying nobody was being disrespectful. Let me highlight. Uno, uno might not see it as disrespect. But let me highlight this to Uno. On this platform, we do not do name calling. So if Uno might not see it as disrespectful, but on my show, we not do Yamed, we not do fool we not do idiot we not do dunce we not do none of those things so if you come and you call any of those names i see it as disrespect my moderator see it as disrespect and you will be blocked it is just plain and simple the only reason why i didn't block anybody from facebook is because uno new to the show and uno not really understand how things set up over here so all right youtube know the rules so nobody on youtube now do the name calling thing big up to the person who say how hard angela big up how hard it is to understand that we do not do name calling all right it is plain and simple all right yeah so call a good night you are live Yes, brother. Oh. Yes, Papa. Good day, man. Oh, yes, that one is sassy. <laughs> Why? <laughs> She's a good storyteller. Mm-hmm. Now, me, 
I was going to ask her, what is it about this gentleman that kept her going back so much time? So ask her, man, she that. a year, you know? I, I right. basically think that everybody can learn. You learn from your mistake. You trust me when I tell you. So they can't really sit there and judge. You get what I'm trying to say? Mm. Yeah, because at the same time, they probably got you worse. I'm uh, just to hide it. The caller, well, the, the caller is asking you a question in there. You hear him? Yes. Oh, no, but mm -hmm. I was saying... Thank you, sweetie. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. What are they, what are they asking? What, what is it that made... That made yeah, what are they asking? Um, wait, wait. Can you hear me? Wait there, my general. Wait there. Um, yeah, hear me? Yes, go ahead. All right. The caller, there's a caller on the line. Just listen to him talk. All right. All right, mommy. Um, what, are, what are they saying? What is it that kept you going back to him in the big, in the earlier stage of the relationship when he was doing all that stuff? Why, what, what, why you kept going back? Because there were a lot of red flags. Are you hearing me? Head. Yeah, we can yeah, hear you. you know. Yes, but I can't hear the caller. I can't hear the caller. Okay, he is saying, what is it that kept you going back in the initial stages of all those red red flags that you was getting? What is it that kept you because going back? Because me like the me they like the mom, very caring, very respective. And me they like the, the, the sister. And at the end of, at the, and also I was thinking about as a college student, as I invested a lot of money. To tell you the truth. I invested a lot of money. You hear me say? Mm -hmm. A lot of money. Well, yep. So I invested a lot of money and I was saying to myself, this don't make no sense. You understand what I mean? Alright, so you never you feel like it was an investment and you never want to waste it. Okay. Exactly, well, yes. Because I must all of the money in my waste. I must pay for non impediment and all of them something in my youth. Yeah, I look at all the money I'm spending. Up. Plus, I must say the paperwork where you're sending in the initial filing it was the next thing to you know. Right. You understand what I'm saying? So that hold was on. the next thing when I look upon me and say, boy, I lose invested a lot of money. All right, hold on. The call Trust me, I tell you. Hold on. Yeah, what you say, General? Yeah, so what, one thing I'm happy for, one thing, one thing that made my mm. night tonight was the first time when he put his hands on you, you gave him the lamp. I, 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 I come yeah. in for that. What, what kind lamp. of question they have? No, he him, him must say, he must say, what to give him glad about him? I say, first time when he put him on pie, you give him the lamp shit. He <laughs> 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 must say, I'm glad we hear that. I mean, I understand why you're not here, the call either, but you're supposed to hear him. No, he sound, he sound, he sound far away. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Ladies, yes. ladies, defend yourself. Lick, yeah, lick and run. Far away, so that's why I couldn't hear him. Lick and run. Eh? All right. The call I say, respect you for that. All right, my general. All big right. up no, yourself, see him? Yeah, man. Big up, big up. Big up, big up. He, he never learn. He never... You have to make him learn him lessons. Say, no, put him on from people. Pick me. Even mother say him out of order. And him sister say him out of order because I'm too bright. Imagine somebody well, come I'm from a friend to bring you come a friend and you have to put on from people. You're too bright. Yeah, I'm too out of order. Glad, I'm, glad, I'm glad you learn from it and you move on and... Your life better you understand what I mean? I said, you have no manners. Good. All right, Sean, bless him. Bless him. Bless him. Bless him. Yeah, my brother. Yeah. Denny's, what's going on? Yo, yo, yo. I'm stuck over one. But there, you know, you said that Carla is saucy in the night, yeah. Well, yeah, but in Ottawa, I never got to know. When in Ghana, Florida, me, that friend, so long I've never reached Florida yet. And instead of the man call and apologize, well, and in strong they be rude. Well, and they are here, you are here, you are here. The, the, the next person on the line. No, me not hear them. I'm she here, hear me? I'm here. I'm here. I'm here. Everybody, I hear well. you. Me not know why you not hear nobody. Them I hear me. Them I hear me can't you. can't hear them. Them sound far away. Something wrong with the earphone for the next end, man. But anyway, then he starts. Yeah, to but tell him to say? speak up. I can hardly hear what they must say. Mm -hmm. Listen, unstoppable. I don't miss, I don't understand why you decided to give him so many chances. That were too many chances. Mm. Once he didn't call me, I wasn't buying any ticket. But on the other hand, also, you know, you were wrong for using that guy's credit card. To buy that That's yeah, me agree with that one there for true. Yeah, that credit card that to buy the ticket from somebody else's credit card that was kinda But then he is enough for no woman do them kind of thing they do too. So nobody go and like enough for no woman do them things there. <laughs> Can you ring me up for this? Because I have extra. 
Your mother go like, daddy, daddy is enough woman do them things there, sure. I'm enough how we do it, but that's why enough how we end up in a bush too. Lord God, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, I've got hands up a black too, and enough how we end up in a bush with them something there. But mm. yeah, that's the only thing. But she beat him with the lamp. My glad so she beat him with the lamp. My glad so all of them something there. And yeah. while she entertained tonight, I'm glad to be back. All right. Yeah, you've been missing for fun. Fun fun wapi kill full up. All right. Blessings. <laughs> <laughs> all right, Dennis. Good night, guys. Much love. All right. So, Kahala, listen. We can hear you say you're out there upon the street. So, yeah, but them out of order, don't it? Yeah, man, they out of order. I'm right. Yeah, they out of order. They were from the year from 2006 and they still are sorted out. Mm. Yeah, they still are sorted out. So I'm like, what is he doing? Mm. That don't make no sense. Yeah, that's crazy. <laughs> don't have my phone number. You're yeah. fine, I just added it. Oh, okay, thank it you. Was 15, but okay, yeah, thank you, sweetie. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Anyhow, Carla, we're going to let you go fix it. You can start out your business where you do. But, Tatu, what are the last words you have to tell the viewers now, yeah? who might, who might well, be in a situation careful. similar like make this? Make sure them come up on them own. Make them go get them 10 year, 10 year visa. Make them grind for themselves and come up on them own and don't sorry for them. Make them stay right down there. Because they only come up for you, people, and nobody not using me. I'm telling you, you have to learn from your mistake. Right. You hear me? Don't make none of them use you. You come up here, some of them just like, look at freelance. They want to just come up far and come come use people. And it's not going to work. Yes. Um, you have to make sure so they don't come and use you. Before mm -hmm. you go, before you go, Kitty number two wants to know, is he taking care of his child? Yes, he is. He don't have any choice because what happened is he's supposed to pay. He's supposed to pay for... Yeah. Yeah, the caller up on the road, obviously, so she's a little bit distracted. So we are going to let her go so she can go start out what she has start out. But she did deliver an awesome story tonight, I must say. You know, and it's a learning experience. You understand? You go through, you go through these kind of things and you learn from it. You understand? You know, and hopefully a lot of the ladies here, you know, oh, learn from what the caller said. I'm still not learning from the first the first marriage. I'm supposed to learn from the first one. I'm got married again and the same thing with the woman who got through and she have to run left him. She have to she have to end up left him because she couldn't deal with the foolishness. Mm -hmm. All right, Carla. Yeah, that's what I'm yeah, because she because she told me that she have to end up leaving because the same thing that I was going through is the same thing. I'm come in late, I hang out with friends, him don't act like a married man. So some of them 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 not grow up yet. Them young. And at the same time, them 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 love the weed more than you. So you have to make sure say if when you do decide because not everybody's the same, you know, go through that. Because some of them them not understand, say. Smoking the work over here, just like in a Jamaica. Because I don't smoke. And he smoke and that's the problem. Thank you, baby. Yeah. And at the same time, you're supposed to you're supposed to basically give up the smoking. But at the smoking mash up most of them life, you know. Mm. You understand what I'm saying? And the smoking mash up most of their life and they don't understand that. You can't turn around and then expect say, you come a foreign in a different environment, totally different environment. You have got through filing and you don't want to listen to your wife and you want to basically think say, it's the same thing, the same mentality and the same dirty behavior where you have a Jamaica you're going to come up with in America. It don't work that way. If you know, say, you're coming to a land of opportunity and you want your papers, you're going to stop the smoking and you're going to learn to adapt, right? Mm. And you're going to try to change, don't it? No, you can't tell him nothing. No, he's a bad man and nobody never tell me nothing or I rare him to take talking from nobody. That's the mentality that most Jamaicans have, not just Caribbean, I won't even say just Jamaica. You have to come and you have to learn to adapt to a totally different system. And remember whether wife or not, we see a lot of mothers go through it the same way too. Say, no, nah, I'm not for do it, so I'm married at, at, at all. Because remember, say, mother will file for them pitney, father will file for them pitney, I go through the same thing. You understand me? They come up and they don't want to change. Say, no, nah, I'm not for do with basically say marriage. So, they have to look on it say, it's not just me. Them come up here and they know so they got you filing it. And they know so they have to go through medical and them something there. Even when they come up on a fiance visa, they still have to do medical again. You know that, right? Mm. You understand? They, they still have to do medical to send in medical report and stuff like that. So, if you come up here, you have to do adjustment of status. You still have to make sure that you keep your system clean. 
you know, come up here to try to win the argument and want to fight and cause no domestic violence because at the end of the day, uh, you are the, the, the man or the person are going to be behind bars, not the person that's filing for you. You understand? See, at the same time, although I'm not going to lie, so I see that a lot of people, on the other hand, not just women, go through it, man go through it as well. You understand what I'm saying? Because I see man go to Jamaica and fight for women and go through it too. But I tell you from my experience, me shock to see all of the money they me waste and invest. And the man still up to today don't have no don't have no papers. It's ridiculous. You understand me? But at the end of the day, in the year now and him have no choice, he must take care of him daughter. Because remember, he, he is not American, but he, he, I guess him friend them are what he tell him say. You know what to make sure say you day in you're in the country illegal and at the same time you know take care of your child because you probably feel say you might go put him on child support. Some man think that. So, of course, they're going to try to do what they're supposed to do. You understand what I'm saying? But at the same time, he's not doing supposed, like he's not going to do what he's supposed to do as a man. He's not going to try to do the minimum amount because he don't want to get in trouble. You get you get what I'm trying to say? Right. You understand what I'm saying? So he's not going to do like oh, a regular man that use consideration and say, you know what, the baby, the child is a teenager. But I'm saying, well, I look at $400 a month. He's not doing it. You understand? But he's not going to try to give you a look at $100 now and then say, for you now, Fill up put him in the system, but if it don't want a Yankee woman, the Yankee woman that put him in the system a long time. Mm-hmm. You understand? Right. The Yankee woman that lock him up, like, you know me, I try to say, she put him in child support already and all him something there. But you know, we Jamaican now, too, we don't like the police, me don't like the police really. Because me don't like the police, me don't lock him up from Jamaica a long time for him put him on for me. Because my taxi friend bring me to the Jamaican station for lock him up with the constable a long time, ready for go pick him up. But me look for all of the money them, my waist and everything. Why, what would you do? Would you lock him up and make all your money then go on the drain? Yeah, ask me. Let's ask the ladies. Yes, I'm asking the callers, everybody. I want to know. Let's what would the they ladies. do? Let's ask the ladies. We are there. We are there. Let me, let me give the ladies <laughs> answer. Ladies, the caller is saying, <laughs> if it was you in this scenario, the first time you put him on by you, would you get him lock up and just say, you know what, to hell with whatever money me spend. All right. So far, me see yes, yes. Yes, I would. Yes, <laughs> yes, yes. The wicked is. Yes, without a second thought. Yes, lock him the hell up. You want me to continue? Yes. You want me to continue? And yes. Fe- Facebook has said the same thing. Lock him up. First time in touch me, me gone. All right then. Okay, then. You, you, me sure you know why you no more. Yeah, but I met. <laughs> But remember, so me done lick him back to you know. Me lick him back to you know. Right. Cause him lick me and me rat him back. But them I say them no business about all of that funny lift up here the first time. Yeah, what done me done gone me gone is what them basically I say. Yeah, but what I may try to say is all of the money them when you invest, them have to think about it and you spend all of the money you put in for the papers and everything. You pay plain fear, time and energy. All of them care the way you buy calling card back then. You much, you much. Twenty dollar cards, my boys. Ask catch up. Hey, what would you do? <laughs> Somebody said me would have left him, but the lick is a plus. <laughs> 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 no, but listen, what I'm trying to say. What I'm trying to say that. In, in the... All right, let me tell you what the ladies are saying at the comment section. They might say they wouldn't business about all of the calling care them where they spend for all the money where they invest. Once they realize, say, hey, what, they might go down a dark, dark alley, alley, they would have leave and run. That's what the callers, that's what the viewers are saying. No. Imagine, okay, let me tell you something. And I like him, I've gone through yet, you know. He done get the papers already. So Kitty number say, Kitty number two, I say, you, 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 you wasted more than just money. You wasted, you wasted your time. Exactly, me waste my time, my energy. Me must have been a past spring break. Me take a spring break from school. Go to Jamaica for man. So think about it. I went through a lot. Yeah, but you waste so your you... time in the sense that you go through all of that and still waste your time in the end. Exactly. The only thing why I forgive him because I got a beautiful daughter out of the whole situation. And she's so smart and basically intelligent. You understand what I'm saying? But otherwise than that, if I was supposed to go back down that route, I would not. <laughs> Nika says money comes and go. She wouldn't. She wouldn't stay. So basically, that to what the caller them must say. Everybody has say, eh, eh, they wouldn't yes. stay. No, but them, she doesn't say that now. But remember, you know, she don't pay for none impediment. But mama tell us about pay for two none impediment as well. Mm. You understand me? Pay for two none impediment. I'm gonna say mother gave to two different father. So two different names upon the birth paper. Mm. So they have to put that in consideration. 
graduation as well. And then at the same time, you fly to Jamaica for interview, right? You turn around and you have to send money for medical. Me have to pay for uh, immunization shot like him a baby from him scratch. Most of never have no immunization record in none at all. So me have to pay for that from the scratch. All right, all of them have to pay for the call. All of them have to call. Gary, what are going <laughs> Yo, good night, everybody. Yo, good night. That's what I call it. I got that call in my night. Come out of the hospital and trust me, I always jump off of the middle of my member, so I have a photo. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Yo, I swear. You learn from your mistake. You can't be alone in the past. I love my story. I love my story. But it's good to basically let other people know what you've been through so that I could help them to build them as well. Exactly. It's not everybody from the Caribbean is the same. Trust me, me tell you. It's not everybody is the same. Right. It's just that you have to learn from your mistake and that makes you stronger because trust me if i was supposed to repeat what i did back then when i was in college i wouldn't do it now mm -hmm. trust me when i tell you because at the end of the day the only thing that i basically is sorry about is that the fact that i got through all of that money spending and he still didn't get didn't give me the chance to fulfill what i brought into america for you know what I mean? To basically make him get him papers and sort it out and at least he's in that citizen by now. That's the only disadvantage that I said that in my in my opinion that my money went to waste. Mm -hmm. But I would not return the, 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 the clock to basically, you know, to give up my daughter. You get what I'm trying to say? That's right. the best thing that came out of everything. Yeah, you know that's what I'm saying? Right. So in life, I believe that God basically put somebody in your life to pass through your life but not come to stay you see what i'm coming from right. so you cannot sometimes you don't have direction of your journey in your life you do you don't because mama saying the same record somebody pass away tomorrow you don't know when is your time so you sometimes you can't question god work to tell you the truth because if i was supposed to turn around the clock and uh, turn back the hands of time i would not give up my daughter for nothing because it's the best best child ever that child don't get b she don't get c so this is what I'm trying to say. It's what I'm trying to say. Right, right. Sometime I mean, in life, you have to, you have to yeah. be happy that you get your child out of the whole situation. Nobody can tell you, say, you're not you're happy for getting your child. Yeah, but what I may say is, what I'm trying to re relate to is that a lot of women, they've been through a lot and they basically would have taken it out on the child. So I'm just trying to tell you that in my essence that I basically them say what them that them that give up long time no and then real mother wouldn't really do that. No real mother would do that. So you're not even have to think that way. Exactly, right? because at the end of the day, me look on it as saying I'm say, if you get the money. Me look on it as say me basically I don't think I lost in that essence because all of that money that I invested and spent to bring him here, I basically gained because I got a decent daughter out of it. You get what I'm trying to say? Mm -hmm. Yeah, and say big up that car like a real big woman. Yeah, the, the car like the viewers them yeah, love you, man. Every relationship is something you gotta get out of it. All you right, understand? Yeah. Some woman get baby outside, some be some people get hurt, some people don't get nothing. I got something that fulfilled me. You understand what I'm saying? Mm. That was my bungle of joy. So everybody can learn from their mistake as they go in life. You understand what I'm trying to say? Some of them, them say, oh, me? No, sir. Me not that shit. You know, me, not, me can't see the comment then, but me just try to say. Mm -hmm. Them, they say, boy, I couldn't bother. But remember, they're not looking at the point. I was pregnant. They're not ans an answering that question. If you was pregnant and in that situation, in done there already, if you don't try the best you can, wouldn't you just divorce him and move on and let him be? Some people say them that call immigration. Some people say them that get him lock up. Some people say them that get get him deported. I want to know what the callers them have to say about that. What would they have done regarding that sense? Would you have bring him to to Chrome? Would you call Chrome? Would you call all this stuff that people was telling me to do back then? And all I right. did not do it. All right. So Gary, they on the line. Hold on. Let Gary answer your question. Gary, you hear our question? All right, you hear a problem, you hear a question. One of the main things I must say, well, let me make me start from the beginning. As I say, I like her statement when she clapping back with her other lamp, she make a statement. I want know if you never get, if you get no cut or anything of a show and say, yo, every day you look on it, you remember, say, so she give him that. Number one, yeah, a lot of red flag was there, but they can't say where well, she invest a lot of money and she look for say, better go come out of it. And we all know some marriage no fix problem. Some people would have said, well, you know what? Uh, forget about the marriage part when the time come. 
And enough woman that say, yo, oh, I don't look for him. I don't mind, but she look for, say, a change. But in other senses, that marriage no fix the marriage no fix problem. And the next, and again, she, you can see, so she really did check for this dude. And she, and the investment was there, but on the next one, yeah, you hear them say, what them say, they, they, um, what the enemy, the enemy, um, the enemy, what the enemy mean for bad turn on for be good. All our, all our pain that she go through, the daughter is hold the on one that will leave her. Hold on, Gary. Hello, Carla. Yes? Your, your background, your phone have a really horrible sound in night. We don't understand why it has that, that, that horrible sound. You hear me? We can hear you, but your sound have a, your phone have a horrible sound in night. A sound? Let me see. Can you hear me better now? Gary, yeah, I hear the sound of me at all, right? Yeah, I hear the sound of me at all. No, I hear the sound. Yeah, there's Probably a... Because, well, no, you not hear it, Carla, but we are here. Yeah, there's a horrible sound in... Anyway, Carla, but anyway, what, what we're going to do, I'll reach out to you tomorrow and we'll talk a bit, a, a, a bit more. Thanks a lot for sharing your experience with us tonight, but I'll call you tomorrow and we can talk about it, all right? Make sure you listen on the book. On the okay, sure, no problem. All right, Thank, nice. you. Thank you. Thank uh, you. All right, Gary, what do you say now? Yeah, so, I say, you know, uh, with all due respect of everything will go around, will go happen, and she spent all of this money, all the pain that she was going through, the be up, the little girl, have come that relief her with all that problem. So she get a, the greatest thing out of her, she get the beauty out of it, where the love and everything, she get something beautiful from it. You know, that is her investment, the beauty of the child. And she's a loving child, and as a year she come, she comments about all oh, the child is is a wonderful child and everything. And you know, I'm just thank God it never got worse because you know other things could could happen out there. But you can see say, that guy. I don't even think a green guy him in a look. Him just now have no mind. The the sense of humor not there because if I'm and I'm very ignorant. Cause everything him argue about him you know, look into say boy, okay, what is the next? As she says, apologize about certain things. Him don't know about them something. So you know what I mean? So basically, it's just it's just it's just the way life go. With she right, that's about the beauty she get a child out of the whole relationship. But my love, my love, my love her story, my love how she deliver it. She does let it loose and she does have everything on point and my love was she just clapping back with the <laughs> Look almost me jump off of the bed and forgot so me just come out the hospital. <laughs> Yo. Yeah man, she be like she be like nice sir. vibes tonight. I must give her it that. It was a wonderful vibe. But I tell her, I'm not like stick my dinner the house, I'm just a laugh, I'm just I'm gonna say, Well, I you know, me not the hospital yet yeah, for the whole for one whole week, but just me today, this does make me does bring back a... Uh, Bring back our vibes in my way, everything. I tell you, so look who wants me to say, when I turn the way me I laugh, I'm going to turn. I'm going to go down for the foot. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, respect and thanks for everybody who was praying for me. And thanks, you know, for the whole family of the Unstoppable Group. Respect and love to you all. All yeah, right, yeah, one yeah. love. Glad you're out of the hospital now, by the way. Come yeah, on. All right. All right. Blessings. Guys. Yeah. Yeah. Call a good night. You are live. All right, we missed that one day. All right. Good night, Carla. You're live. Yeah, that was me. Right. Hello. Turn yes. down, turn down the stream in the background, please. Right. Hello. Turn down, turn down the stream in the background, please. You hear me? Right. Go ahead. Yeah, what I was what I was saying, she 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 she, she the one have to get him sort sorted. Carla, out. turn down the, the stream in the background, please. We're getting the feedback. All right, you hearing me now? Go ahead. Yeah, we can hear you now. Okay. Um. Yeah. All right, she she the one bring him here, and she married him. Ain't nobody else can get get her straight. Carla, you have something playing the show in the background. We can still hear the sound of it coming through as a feedback. Can you hear me? 
Yeah, go ahead. Okay, I was saying, um, Carl, I'm going to have to hang up because whatever it is you have playing in the background, I'm going to have to hang up and take another call. All right, please, once you're calling, please turn off or turn down whatever it is you're listening to the show on in the background before you call, please. All right? All right, so, listen, this one tonight is why may I tell you. It's a real good story, you know, but the, the whole point of this show tonight is so that ladies can understand that when you see certain things, you know, clear as day, say it now go work, sometimes you have to just run. You understand what I say? Sometimes you have to just run away from certain situations, especially when you see it already going bad from the beginning. All right. Jennifer, how are you? I'm doing great. Thank you for calling. I am stop with family. Yeah. <laughs> that lady by the man. <laughs> Hello? We can hear you. Go ahead. Oh, oh yes, yes, yes. But I can some some of the stuff I can understand. At least she got a child out of it. But all the money I spent, I wouldn't worry about all that money because at the end of the day, he's still not with her. He's still not helping her. So what's the point? Right. Just let all the money go. You can't work it back. That's 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 money. And he, she still didn't get nothing out of him because he come here, he didn't help her do nothing. So she should have just let, just let him go because he's not for her. And he's going to keep doing it. I'll repeat the cycle over and over again. He's never going to get better. Well, if you heard what she said, she said but, um, he did it mm -hmm. to a, 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 another female yeah. and it yeah. didn't see him with Yeah, that's his MO. <laughs> so she just continued life with her daughter. At least she got the beautiful kid out of it. Exactly. And, you know, a lot of us been through it. Just a lot of people don't want to tell their story. But a lot of us have been through it. Right. And I can't understand where she's coming from. Right. That's true. Yeah. All um, right. Thank you yeah, so yeah. much for calling. Right, good. Appreciate it, Jennifer. Yeah, good. Yeah, good night, family. All right. Keisha, good night. How are you? Hi, how are you doing? All is well. <laughs> All right. First time calling. I've been following you for a little while. Much love. I'm always in the comment section. Um let me tell you, um this makes it so bad for other people in Jamaica like sometimes you might have somebody out there that's very good and very genuine but now you know these kind of situations they're becoming so frequent and it makes it harder for good people and good men in Jamaica and from her point of view um, I've never been in that situation before but I think I can understand to some degree because sometimes you know the heart knows what the, the heart wants or you know, and a lot of us, a lot of females here, um, sometimes we feel very lonely and we go back home and we meet this nice guy and, you know, and you just want to be with this person, you just want to be with someone, you just want to take them here, you know. So it could have, a lot of times females, they fall into those kind of situations. So it, it's really sad. And um, me personally, um, I don't, no, I don't know if <laughs> if this would ever happen to me. I you, you can never say never. Um, mm -hmm. I don't know. Mm -hmm. I I don't know. But oh my God, so many experiences that you heard about. Um, it would really have you on the edge and thinking twice about it. I don't know if I would really do that because we're going to be thinking: Is this person really? Because you know they, they're very good pretenders. A lot of them, right. right? It's hard to know who is really genuine. So. Oh my God, you you be on the edge so much, wondering. Oh my God, is this person real? Are they going to change? Are they just using me? You know. So um, I I really don't know. It's it's really sad. Like I'm saying, it it makes it very bad for the real. Because I know there's some real good genuine men in Jamaica that would want to come here and make a good life. Mm -hmm. But it, it's hard. I, you know, it, it makes the situation bad for them. So I really don't know. If I if I would want to do that, and um, as far as you know, her calling immigration and the man at the time, um, I would have been so mad and upset. If I didn't have the child for him, of course I would. 
um, let them send him back home. But the fact that, you know, I have a child for him or whatever, I I wouldn't give him no papers, but I, I would let him stay in the country. Yeah, I mean, for the child's you know? sake, of course. Ex- yeah, I would let him stay. But if, if there wasn't any child involved, of course, because he, he doesn't deserve to to be here. And um, I don't think he loved her from the get-go. But sometimes, you know, love is blind. And I, I think she really loved him in the beginning. And like I said, a lot of us here, you know, we just want to go home and find a good man and bring them here and make a good life with them. Right. You know, so that's it. All right. Thanks for having me. Thank you so much for calling. Appreciate it. Bye-bye. All right, Charmaine, I saw you calling a while ago. You can call back. I think I'm going to let Charmaine be the last caller that I accept. So, Charmaine, the phone line is opened for you right now. You can call in again if you choose to. All right. Now, I want to take this time right here to big up every single person that tuned in tonight. And as a matter of fact, big up everybody who share out the show tonight all right pan facebook and pan youtube big up on yourself guys we see youtube almost we made it to over 950 tonight and the sharing was going right before the internet decide for you know bunks off the show but we did good tonight all right so big up yourself over there on youtube for sharing out as much as you could so if you know you share tonight pat yourself on the shoulder all right and to the people them on facebook thank you so much for sharing as well because facebook went up to 600 tonight so if you know you share on facebook tonight pat yourself on the shoulder and i appreciate every single one of you guys that shared out the show tonight you know much appreciated all right blessings good night my general Yes, yes, um, first time calling. Blessings. Yeah, man, with this lady, young lady, I know sometimes every disappointment is for a good, you know? Because a lot of people even I go through even more rougher stuff than her. Man, if I the right program, I'm still. You're the right Hopefully. program, man. Which one? Hold on, which program are you talking about? With the lady, we run with. Um, a man run from a, a, a um, run away with a fancy um, okay some yes we live right now talk Mark to it paper. yes but you yeah, have man Carla, you have a stream things you have this stream playing in the background you need to turn it with our no time Carla you have the stream playing in the background turn it down for me all right Make we accept Charmian. Charmian, we see her call back a while ago again right before this call, call in. So we can accept Charmian call and then that's the last call for the night. All right. Um, Frashian, blessings. Glad to see you. Diane Nelson over there on Facebook. Georgia Wagwan, much love. Glad to see you tonight again. Charmian Wagwan, you're the last call that I'm accepting tonight. Talk to me. Hi. I um, hope I'm not too loud. No, that lady was really funny. I really enjoy <laughs> listening to her. I re- you know what? Like she said, we have to put ourselves in her shoe, okay? Um, mm-hmm. She spent a lot of money. She has, she, at least she got something out of it. She has her daughter. She learned from it. She did walk away and stuff. She didn't, um, you know, continue. Yes, even though she got the slap and this, but she still didn't sit back and just had him beat on her and right. she didn't do anything. But a lot, personally for myself, my mom went to Jamaica, married someone, it didn't work. I know numerous of people that have done that. So personally for my, I would not do it. Mm-hmm. But like the, the, the last caller said, I'm not saying that you don't have good men in Jamaica and that wouldn't, um, that would come up and, you know, work with you and do things together and all that. I'm not saying you don't have, but it's, it's, it's what, a dime, one in a, thousand or something Mm -hmm. is very small Mm -hmm. so to try to sift that out no i've always i tell any young any woman if or even a man let that person find a way whether it's canada the u.s england let they spend their money when they come here when it's a 10-year visa or whatever then you see how it worked three months or whatever so so even find out something to know right a while ago, Shamian said one in a thousand. Yeah, all right. Shamian can't see me right now, but Uni can't see me. One in a thousand. Yes, all right. <laughs> go and talk, Shamian. I know what we're doing a while ago, but go and talk. <laughs> <laughs> but 
Well, I mean, it's, it's true. I'm not saying, but it's, it's very slim. It's slim to none because normally if you go to Jamaica, you pick somebody. I mean, if for what, if they don't have a degree, if they don't have a good job, I mean, come on. When they come up here, you know exactly they're going to run off for their baby mother. I don't know one person, honestly, and I'm going back from my mom, my aunt, and people that I know have brought people from Jamaica, and women have done it too, and run off and find a baby father, somebody they went to high school with who they still was in love with, mm -hmm. on both sides. So I'm saying to prevent all that, if I'm going to pick anything up, I said I'm going to pick it up from here where I don't have to spend no money. Mm -hmm. But, I mean, she was she she did good. Like I said, you know, we made a mistake. She was in love with him. She thought it was going to work, and it didn't, and she moved on. Mm -hmm. But I learned from my mom, and I learned from other people. So therefore, that's not going to happen. You know, you know. Now, what? if somebody want to pay me, Charmaine, let me ask you a question. Have... Let me ask you a yes, question, Charmaine. So Angela uh -huh. says the women them get so controlling, become so controlling. Do you think that's a case where a woman would bring a man from Jamaica? You know, she's all lovey-dovey and stuff with him at Jamaica. And then as soon as him reach in the US, the woman get controlling because, you know, she knows that the man need papers. She knows that she has to do what is necessary for that man to get whatever documentation he needs. Do you think that's the case in, in some, you know, instances? Yes, I do. I do believe that's the case in some relationship. Looking back at my mom, it was that wasn't what it was. This man just was a whore and just wanted to go out and especially when they come here and these american women they hear the accent oh my god <laughs> these american women yes no so it was nothing he just wanted to be out there just having a fear a lot of people and they go both ways and like i said again a lot of people when they come up then they go look for their ex they go look for whoever it was just to show them to say yes i made it you think you didn't think i you know i could get in america i could get in canada or england or whatever and whoever they were in love with it was just a pass just to get here. They're going to, and I put my, listen, if I was in Jamaica, honestly, I always try to put myself in people's shoes. If I was in Jamaica and things wasn't working out for me and somebody gave me the opportunity, I damn sure probably would have done the same thing. So therefore, you know what? For me personally, as a Virgo, it's not going to happen, period. Mm -hmm. Not Charmian, unless you pay. Huh? Charmian, listen, if I, as a man, and this is me speaking from my heart if i as a man was the kind of man who met a woman while i was living in jamaica and she decided hey you know what unstoppable i love you so much and i'm going to come down to jamaica and get married to you right now mm -hmm. i get married to this woman because i love her not because more papers right now she comes down she gets mm -hmm. married to me and you know she decides okay time for you come over to me now obviously i'm mm -hmm. going to live with her because as she married me and bring me into the states so correct and people nobody no go say unstoppable say a woman married him and bring him into the states i am i am speaking all right hypothetically no <laughs> right no let's just say that happened and i end up in the states i'm saying this mm -hmm. champion if mm -hmm. a woman feel like say she go use documents for hold me down in that naga hap me no. Because the minute she said to me, say, go in this go wash the plate them, just for use as example. <laughs> and not yeah. babes, can you please, you know, wash the dishes for me? Me, I say, yeah. all right, you know something? Time for me to go back to Jamaica. Mm -hmm. Because yep. you see, a real yep. man will never huh sit down and oh. allow a woman to talk to him mm. any and any way you understand unstoppable i don't mean to cut you unstoppable mm -hmm. a virgo man let me tell you something i know about virgo man because i'm a, Vir a virgo man is not going to take that period mm -hmm. period a virgo man will not they pride they i don't care you could they could be on their face they will not let a woman mm. use their money or anything to control Better them unless it. they really love you. Better believe unless it. Unless they really love you. <laughs> huh? Better believe no, it. No, I'm just, sure. I already know about Virgo. I already know about Virgo. Yes, they won't. If they love you, they will give you anything. There's nothing too good. 
But if you try to use control to control them, you can forget it. You will lose a hundred percent. My girl, take but all yes, of your you money, take all of your pretty care, them, everything. take all of your shoes, and when everything. you buy, give everything. me one your ex, ex, Yeah, that's, that's, your, that's, a Virgo, amigo, that's a Virgo man. Yeah. Yeah. That's a Virgo man. They will walk butt naked and take it. That's a Virgo yes. man, period. Yes. But again, though, no, some women, yes, they do. They do use because, and they disrespect. And that's what I'm saying when they come back down to, you can't be little, not because, you know, you have the money and you send for the person. But that person has to have some some ambition too, and some qualities, and you're gonna work together. You got you can't just come here and um oh you you good with McDonald's and you don't have any ambition to say go back to school, take some classes, I say okay in ten years or five years you set some goals. This is where I can see us, you know, where I want to be and for us to accomplish. But a lot of people don't have that, mm -hmm. and then sometimes because of loneliness, a lot of us. Jamaican women prefer we, we we would want to marry a Jamaican because you want your own culture. Mm -hmm. But that doesn't mean that's what God has for you. You see what I'm saying? Because mm -hmm. people do people say things because they want to come. And that's what I'm saying. We all can put ourselves in the position if I was in Jamaica and I don't have a good life and America at the opportunity, Canada, England, whatever, you can make it. If you work hard, the opportunity is endless. And someone give me that opportunity, I'm going to take it no matter what it costs. It's easy to say, no, I used to be judgmental. Oh, I wouldn't do this. I wouldn't do that because I didn't have to go through that. Mm -hmm. But after I have friends and see, and as I get older and I look back and I say, yeah, if I was in that position, of course I would. So this young lady, no, I don't knock her for anything. I mean, like she said she got her beautiful daughter. She didn't sit and, and um, continue taking the abuse. And look at him. Look where he is. Look at the punishment he's getting right now. He's still, until he get whatever anger, and he has some issue with women. And it started from his mom. Because I heard her mention about he has two different names. That's an embarrassment. Not really knowing probably who your father is. That's an embarrassment right there. He has other issues. When it comes to women, and I always say it's always stem. I say you look at how a man, his relationship with his mother, I'm very serious. That determines how that man really going to treat you in life and how he's going to treat women, period. Because if you respect his mom, he's not going to turn around and beat. And I really would be curious to find out what his relationship and what, you know, when he was growing up, how did he see other men was beating his mom and different things like that? Mm -hmm. I'm very serious hmm. because he has a lot to do with it hmm. when it comes to respect. Right. All right, Shami. So, so th you. thanks for thanks for getting my taking my call. Yeah, man, much love. Totally appreciate it. All, all right, then. All right, thanks. Okay, yes, bye bye. Sir. All right, so, um. I haven't seen Dr. Mia tonight. I've got to reach out to her and find out what's going on. I know Kizzy Unstoppable had mentioned that she is in the hospital. I've got to reach out to her and uh, see if she is okay because I don't see her here tonight at all. Um, and uh, for the viewers here that has Dr. Mia's number, you definitely should reach out to her, you know, just to make sure that all is well with her as well. All right. Um, I want to thank everybody who called in tonight. I want to thank everybody who supported the show by sharing. I want to thank everybody who just basically, you know, stayed and viewed the show tonight. You know, and once again, me have to big up everybody who share out the show as well, because that is very important. You know, sharing out is very important for the show to really take off and, you know, do well. All right. I want to thank everyone that contributed to the show via even end the show more of a big up, big up, big up and thank and say much love because gratitude is a must. I want to thank everybody who actually went over to the merch store, the Unstoppable merch store and made a purchase, right? You know, we have the Unstoppable merch as you can see.
Kizzy and Chrissy over here rocking out the Unstoppable merch. Yes, and I, you know, a lot of persons really is supporting the merch store. So I want to say thank you to every single person that has went over and bought yourself the Unstoppable merch. All right, because, you know, you have some people who say, oh, I'm a fan, but they are not really that much of a fan to say, yo, I want to rock something that I got from the Unstoppable merch store. Right, so big up to everybody who actually went over and got their merch. All right. Right. Before I end the show tonight, I want to say big up to Chrissy's mummy. I don't know her name, but mummy, me know you watch right now. So big up yourself. All right. I wish I did say Chrissy. What is your mummy's name? So I could have big her up. But nonetheless, you know yourself, mummy. Big up yourself. All right. More to no big up Chrissy mother to call Chrissy mother. Watch the show every night. All right. So big up to Chrissy mummy tuning in tonight next show me i'm gonna make sure so i know chrissy mommy name so i'm gonna have to come and say chrissy mommy <laughs> all right and i want to big up um a caller who called me earlier by the way you know she knew herself she called me and she said unstoppable i want to tell you something now this is the first time this caller is calling me right she said unstoppable since i found your show i have been watching your show constantly and i just love your show right now she says she walk in her boss office she said unstoppable your show change everything about my life at work right so i said what you mean she said she walk in her boss office she said she could have never get along with her boss right from the for, for the years that she had worked there, she and her boss could never get along because her boss always want to work her extra hard. People want to listen good enough. So the lady called me today and she said, Unstoppable, your show make me work comfortable now at work. Because one day I'm walking in my boss office, and when I walk in my boss office, none other than Unstoppable, my boss I listen to. So I said, Boss, you watch Unstoppable too? And the boss said, What you mean by two? every single night i'm tuned into unstoppable show right and she said from then from that point moving forward she and the boss no stop she said every day she got work is a new topic she and the boss are discuss right so yes big up to the lady who called me today and big up to the boss by the way me know you're the all listen right now too you know yourself all right she said every day she and the boss have something to talk about when she got to work now so it's a brand new conversation you know them spark up every day and a brand new relationship she and the boss have all right so big up to all of the real unstoppable fans out there in the world right because a worldwide you know and a jamaica alone a worldwide all right so big up to everybody who supports Towards the show all right are you on every night pauline no we are on mondays wednesdays and fridays only all right blessings unstoppable my story will have you in ah man come down for champs each year and use various women altia you need for call me altia my number is 876 four two zero three three six eight just send me a whatsapp message and say this is altia i'm looking out for your message altia all right 876-420-3368. Altia, I'm looking out for your message. Just send me a message and say this is Altia. People know why your Altia story, right? Oh, you mean. Jennifer says unstoppable to the world. Oh, you mean. Yeah. Yeah, man. So, people, blessings to everybody tonight. It is that time right now for you to start marching out. Patrick says, I listen to you from Miami, Florida. Big up to Patrick in Miami. All right. Let's go. All the officials, let's start marching out right now. It is officially your time of the night. If you're on Facebook and you want to become an unstoppable official, all you have to do is hit where you see, click where you see it says, become a supporter and get your badge beside your name. It is that simple. Once you have your badge beside your name then you become an official supporter of the show all right and then when you hear me say unstoppable time um officials march out just send in a flame all right like how youtube do it right now more of a big up doing all right he is a supporter over there on facebook and youtube rocking him badge all right the first person to march out tonight is natalia grant with a golden vip Trev Essence rocking a golden VIP as well. All right. Uh, who else? Janine Unstoppable rocking a golden VIP as well. Darlene Walter Riley rocking a golden VIP badge. All right. Aries Girl rocking a golden VIP badge as well. Who else? Joy Blackwood rocking a super VIP badge. Oh, yeah. oh well, wait, 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 wait. Hold on. Wait there before we continue. <coughs> 
So who no notice Joy is here tonight? Did she sneak in the class? People who no tell me, did Joy sneak in tonight or was she here from early? Somebody tell me. Did Joy sneak in tonight or was she here from early? Because I first, me ask Joy, come, you know something? I'm going to go back up after the stream and I'm going to check to see what time exactly Joy came to class. All right? Carol, unstoppable, rocking a UK VIP gold badge. Oh, you mean what? 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 Oh, you mean Carol, a rock, a, 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 a gold badge. Carol, unstoppable UK. Oh, you mean. All right, then. Kizzy, unstoppable, rocking a super VIP badge. Oral Blake, rocking a golden VIP badge. And he is rocking out the unstoppable emoji, them, the custom emoji. You want to see the Jamaica flag? Yeah, custom emoji. All right, Althea, the number is 876. Althea, look on the screen now. Look right above my head. The number is right above my head in a green. <laughs> Glowing green as a matter of fact. But it's 876-420-3368. All right, Altia, I'm looking out for your message on WhatsApp. All right, let's see. All right, Donna Spencer, thank you so much for that. Appreciate you coming in. Sheldon Unstoppable Royal rocking a golden VIP. Alyssa Brooks has been around quite a while. Big up yourself, Alison. Still, I wonder why Alison not rock her badge. But anyways, you know, Negri... Oh, Joyce. Joyce says, I was here early. All right, then. Good. Negrita Unstoppable rocking a golden... V <laughs> she was in the back of the class. <laughs> All right, the greeter. All right, Nalan Baxter is rocking his silver badge. Big up yourself, Nalan. All right, Nalan, Nalan. Let me pronounce the man name correctly. Nalan Baxter is officially a new sign up because Nalan is rocking his silver badge. Big up yourself, Nalan. All right, soon and very soon, Nalan will be rocking, you know, a second color badge. No worry yourself. All right, let's see who else is rocking their badge over here. Is that it? Is that it? Is that it? Is that all the officials? All right. It look like Derek gone, man. Um, just said. Derek look like him gone. Um, Altia, the number is right above my head on the screen. Right above my head in green. All right. Um, Chrissy. Chrissy, me and you have a problem. Me and Chrissy Unstoppable is going to have a problem. Somebody tell Chrissy what kind of problem me and, me and Araga have. And see, Junior, June, June has been around from Gilbert days. <laughs> June, Gerald has been on Unstoppable show from Gilbert time. And June now have her badge beside her name. Somebody tell Chrissy what kind of problem me and Araga have. All right. Desreen Thompson, blessings. You march out, but you're not no badge beside your name in a Desreen, but you have to go get it. All right. Mrs. Brooks is in the building. No people. Let me take one second and I highlight uh, uh, Mrs. Brooks for a minute. Teresa, Kizzy, Chrissy, Negrita, Natalia, Jason Buchanan, Sheldon Unstoppable. All of these people familiar with Kizzy. I mean, not Kizzy, with Mrs. Brooks. All of these people familiar with Mrs. Brooks, right? Now, how long on you see that name there in the chat? All of the regulars who are familiar with Mrs. Brooks. Somebody tell me how long now on you see Mrs. Brooks. All right? I'll wait. Don Thompson rocking a golden VIP. The Diva rocking her silver. All right? June said soon. All right, then, June. We'll be waiting to see your badge beside your name soon and very soon. All right, Angela, thank you so much for writing the number in the chat. All right. Yes, Natalia says a long while. A long time. Marcia, we has been around too. Long time. Thank you, Marcia. No. Mrs. Brooks has been missing from the show for most about three years. Then sneaking back. Here I know. Lord, unstoppable. Nobody no member me. <laughs> <laughs> me come in one night and say good night and nobody no member me. So, do you think she deserves to be remembered? Any what to say? Do you think she deserves to be remembered? <laughs> Unstoppable. Me come in, me know me did miss her a while in you know, but me come back and nobody no member me. Lord, me say good night and they not even look for me. Lord, me feel bad and unstoppable. Overfall that. She has been missing for quite a while. You know? 
she has been missing for quite a while. Yes, Kizzy, I know she was here on Friday. But she said nobody now check fear because she basically is like a stranger. <laughs> All right, just said Collins. Welcome to the family. Come on, everybody wanna big up just said. Big up just said Collins became an official just now. So we now have two sign-ups tonight. Just said Collins is the newest member to the unstoppable officials. And also, the, f the, the, the first person to sign up tonight is Janice Scott. All right. Big up to the newest members to the Unstoppable Official family. All right. Blessings. Jasset says, I just figured it out. Thank you so much for signing up. All right. And like I said, if you're on Facebook, all you have to do is click where it says become a supporter on Facebook. Come on, man. You don't need to do better now. You don't need to sign up. Why you don't need to sign up on Facebook? Come on. Do better. Do better. You know, if you don't have Facebook, just sign up. All right. Yes. So let's see if Mrs. Brooks is going to be here Wednesday night. Mm -hmm. Let's see if she's going to. Well, me can't show Mrs. Brooks under the bus because you don't know why. Yeah. <laughs> Frashian, if you listen earlier, you know, me call out your name plain, plain and clear, you know. When me say Frashian, big up. Earlier, I said Frashian, big up. Anyway. Me can't show Mrs. Brooks under the bus because Mrs. Brooks is a loyalist. Mrs. Brooks has been around forever. When we talk about every night, Mrs. Brooks no miss her show, right? But she missed about two years now, so yeah. <laughs> All right, I want to say big up to everybody once again, people. I will see you all Wednesday. We have another awesome show lined up for Wednesday. All right, and you all will love it. All right, no. I saw someone said JJ came in first tonight. Is that true? Someone said JJ Unstoppable came in first tonight. Now, if it was really JJ that came in first tonight, I will be looking at the stream to see who came in first. But if it was really JJ came, who came in first, then, you know, I don't think that's really fear. You know, so I'm going to look at the second person. Now, is it Lady B Unstoppable that came in second? We will see. All right, remember... For the next set of shows that is on until the end of the month, we only have, let's see, let me go check for make sure how many more shows we have. I think it's four more shows for the rest of the month. Let's see, Wednesday, Friday, that's two, three, four. So we have four more shows for the end of the month. And after the fourth show, the person who, ca who came in first, the person who came in first for the beginning of the show will win a hundred US dollars all courtesy of the Unstoppable Show. All right. So if you want to win that hundred dollars and listen, me, me not joke when it comes to giving away my winnings. If you win, your money will come straight to you. All right. So if you want to win that hundred dollars right now, Lady B Unstoppable is in the lead. She came in 22 seconds. After the show start, she came on and said first, 22 seconds after the show start. So if you want to win, you know, make sure you come and beat Lady B. The person who has the most, who comes on first the most, will win 100 US dollars sent directly to you. Whether you want to come to MoneyGram, Western Union, whichever way, you will win. All right. Yes. And we have another sign up. We are the who this, who this, who this. Let's see who this is. Candice, thank you so much. Candice Augustus, thank you so much for signing up and becoming an unstoppable official. All right, totally appreciate that. All right, I tried to stay up many times and fell asleep. <laughs> All right, Judith, blessings. All right, so remember, I'm going to check to see who came in first tonight. Lady B came in first Friday night. Um, we're going to see who comes in first tonight. And let's see who comes in first Wednesday and Friday. And then the last day of this month, someone will win 100 US dollars cash. All right. Yeah. I want to big up all my moderators. All right. Thank you so much for supporting and helping me to moderate this stream. All right. How do I sign up? All right. Uh, uh, Andreen, it is simple. All you have to do is look for the word join in blue beside um, the subscribe button. And just click it and follow the instructions. All right. It is plain. It is very simple. All right. Hyacinth says, I am first on Facebook. All right. I am going to go and check Facebook too. So don't worry yourself. I know who came in first on Facebook uh, 
Friday night and I will be going to check to see who is going to come in first tonight. All right. So, yes, people, big up on yourself and I will see you all on Wednesday night. It is time right now to feel the music. But before that, Chrissy Unstoppable, why Mia Yaga have a problem is more and more why you not have your badge beside your name. Mia Yaga have a serious problem. All right. I guess Mia we talk about that half year. Feel the music, 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 feel the music